Hello, everyone. All right, so I want to take a few minutes tonight and go over something that um, I've been seeing all over the Internet. And, you know, I know so many people have been talking about this and the issue that has been this in particular Common Core math problem. It has completely gone viral. And I'm going to be honest, I think it's probably the only math question that has ever gone viral. Um, so I've spent some time struggling with the Common Core thing, trying to decide whether or not it is for the better or for the not. And uh, I'm not going to tell you whether or not you know, it's better for your children to try and learn math this way. I know that it does take more time, and that and that's something that really does make a lot of people want to move away from the Common Core idea, is because it does take longer to work out. Um, now, when it comes to understanding understanding the concepts of math, Common Core may be a, a little bit better than the way that we were traditionally taught in this method right here, this this right here. Um, you know, this is the only way I really understand how to do math. And I can understand how, you know, somebody can say, oh, well, you know, that's just such an ancient math, and it doesn't really work. I can understand someone saying that. But that, but in reality, it's really not a bad thing. So things that we need to know, so things that you're going to need to know about this math problem to understand it and to understand what this math problem is and what it's done to cause so many problems. Um, first things first here. We have to. Uh, we really need to talk about what what is relevant in this problem. Now, first of all, you need to forget about every bit of this right here. This entire thing that this person, that this frustrated parent, the dad actually, I think, um, forget every bit of it because everything he said here, no matter how true or not true it may be, is irrelevant to understanding this problem. Something else you need to forget about is the way that we know how to do math right here. You also need to realize that this right here is not part of the problem and this threw me off for the longest time this right here is not part of the problem now now that you are ignoring this you're ignoring the frustrated parent you're ignoring this parent's math skills now you're looking in and you're saying okay now what is this problem now this common core math problem is saying you need to know what is the difference between 427 and 316 find his error Okay, well, when you think about common core math problems, you have to understand that everything common core math is, well, not everything, but the bulk majority of it is taught on a number line. And I remember back in high school when I was learning negative numbers and positive numbers, I was taught with a number line. So zero, negative one, negative two, and so on. And then on this side, it was one, two, three, Four and so on. So, in Common Core math, that's essentially what they're trying to do. They're trying to cover the same the same thing. They're trying to reach the same goal, the same thing that we were taught, but with a different method that is, um, I guess, easier for children to understand. And even though it's harder for us to understand, for a child just learning, it may actually be easier for them because they don't know how to do math the way that we do. And so for us to try to unlearn math is much harder than them trying to learn math to begin with. Now, what did Jack do wrong here? Well, first of all, what you saw right here where this person had marked uh, numbers that were like in a tens place, that was the mistake. That was not supposed to be there. This is actually one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. See, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. That's actually what this is. These are ones places. And so in this Common Core Math problem, they were asked, you know, where was his mistake? His mistake was that he forgot to count the tens. And when I say to count the tens, I mean, if you remember in math, we were taught ones, you had ones places, then you had tens places, you had hundreds, hundreds places, thousands, and so on. And so if you think about it in the way that we know it, ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, what they were being taught here is that you're counting these one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then so he counted up to seven from one twenty one to one twenty seven he counted. And then he counted from one twenty seven to twenty seven, three twenty seven, four twenty seven. Okay, but where what was his mistake? How did he go from zero to one twenty uh, to one twenty one? He forgot his tens, and so um, from zero to twenty should have been there um, to, to begin with, and then it should have been from twenty to one twenty 
to 100 to so on. You see what I'm saying? And so, so all of this right here, all of this writing, that's throwing people off. All of this that writing down here, this is throwing people off. And all of this right here in particular, the math right here was throwing people off. Um, breaking it down and looking at it at its most simple level, this is really not that complex of a math problem. This actually, in reality, is actually a fairly simple process. Um, I hope that this video has been